Miami, Florida. I'm the president of HMS National. We're the leader in home warranties. Can you tell us about how you went from a transaction-based company to one that was more personalization, um, maturity level? We stepped back and thought about our business from a strategic perspective, uh, trying to understand what the biggest levers for value creation were. We decided that embarking on a VOC journey was best for us. We first thought about it from a retention or a renewal perspective. Uh, and from there, as we dug into the voice of customer work, we realized that there were a number of aspects throughout the whole customer life cycle or throughout customer experience uh, that really needed to be changed. And we realized that that change was moving from transactional to a much deeper relationship with each customer. And so that's what helped us get started on the change. And that's what was the beginning of the journey that we've now been on for almost eight years. Uh, in terms of personalization, the way that we do it is different than many do uh, in large companies. For us, it isn't about things that are shiny or flashy. It's about the type of information that's very relevant to the person. For instance, on our renewal communications, we try to give a history of the claims filed and the retail value of those claims so that a customer can understand the benefit of their annual contract with us keeping clients on board, retaining them, and making sure that they sign on again. And one of the things that I thought you said that was very interesting was you thought that they would want money back, and that was like their top mm -hmm. priority. But really, it was a, an, a, an agreeable engagement with your employees and feeling warm, all of these things. Can you talk about how that led to an increase in your renewal rates a little bit? As a company, we felt that it was really important to make sure that each claim was processed very efficiently. And we also thought that the most important thing for customers was the amount we paid out per claim. And what we realized over time was it was critically important to them, but there, there was another aspect that was as important. That was the way they were treated with each claim that was filed in the subsequent service. And so after the VOC, once we learned that, we really began to focus on the customer experience, having a, what we call an arm around, the relation, arm around the shoulder relationship with customers, where they felt engaged with us, they knew that we cared, and that we were going to take care of them financially, but that a relationship with them as a customer for that year and for the years of follow-up was as important. How, are, were there certain initiatives that you took or maybe some changes in language or some of the materials that you put out that led to an increased renewal rate? Or, and what was that renewal rate? We made a variety of changes in our communications, both in communications verbally and written uh, with our customers. One example of that is uh, in the fulfillment process. We used to stand, send what was pretty standard terms and conditions, reasonably small font, not always the most easy for everyone to understand, but clearly effective from a legal and a regulatory perspective. Um, we changed that after the VOC to make sure that there was a guide put around that, that welcomed the customer, had the tonality of us wanting to build a relationship with customers because we truly did, and then also fulfilling the obligations of delivering the T's and C's. A, a verbal communication example would be that the way that we handled our claims on the phone before it was very efficient in making sure that customers were handled quickly and that they understood the information very relevant to the claim. Um, that was really transactional focused. Uh, we retrained all of our CSRs, our customer service reps and customer care, to make sure that they were empathetic on the phone. They knew the, the difficulty of someone having uh, their furnace break down when it was 20 degrees outside or having a hot water heater that was leaking, and to make sure that we were able to provide that empathy in addition to the efficient claims handling process. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> Three action items that I think are important for companies to address omni channel transformation are the following. The first one is that I think it's very important for companies to think about what the customer truly wants, not just around what the company's CX plans are. I think all of us can get stuck looking at our annual plans or quarterly plans and executing on those without checking with our customer or listening to our customer. So I think that that's very important. Second one is stepping back and thinking broadly. I think uh, we're asked to focus in our businesses and in our professional lives. And I think that it's a real challenge for us to step back occasionally to make sure that we've thought about all the aspects that might be affecting the result that we're trying to achieve. For us, it was about trying to move renewal rates, but we had to think about the life cycle starting all the way at acquisition. My third idea is to be humble and to have you and others in your organization acknowledge what is it known about customers. Uh, and move away from the paradigms, the kind of water cooler conversations you have about the things that we're supposed to know or that we're working on in the business that we might not truly know. And so being humble about that and being willing to step back and learn that from customers is really important.